Hey guys, Leyland here. Do you guys have your tinfoil hat at the ready? Cause we're gonna be taking a look at another leak from 4chan before the actual Pokemon presentation drops. Speaking of which, I'm gonna be streaming that morning. That'll be 8 a.m. Central for me, 6 a.m. Pacific time for the official announcement. Pokemon Presents is coming in just a few days, you guys, and we are getting more and more leaks from people that know guys whose uncle works at Nintendo and claim that things are going to be announced. It happens all the time, and what do I do with all of it? Is taking it all with a grain of salt. Until someone from Nintendo, or more specifically, the Pokemon Company, announce it and confirm whatever rumors or leaks are true or false. So, grab yourself that tinfoil hat, because here we go. You're either gonna laugh your butt off, or you're gonna think it's absolutely amazing. Anonymous Test Preview Leak I went to a test preview of Pokemon Presents the other day. I can't speak English, so I wrote this with the help of an American friend. These are the things that stuck with me, or that I wrote down. So you guys, that's the message that they left before listing off a bunch of things that pertain to the mobile games of Pokemon like Pokemon Go, Cafe Remix, Unite, and Master ZX. Full disclosure though, I am honestly setting my expectations very low for this upcoming Pokemon Day and expecting nothing but news for all of the mobile games, nothing, absolutely nothing about the mainline series, nothing even from Ilka. I do hope that Game Freak takes the year off, and they come back in 2025 with a banger releases. So with that, here is that meaty game that they claim is going to be announced. I hope you guys like Unova. Generation 5 games. Emphasis on the games. Because we have Generation 5 remakes, but with a twist. They're going to be calling it Vast Black and Light White. Wait, is that right? Yeah, that's what they say. The names are kind of catchy. They say it's going to be a modern 3D remake, chibi style, like the leaks suggest. Yes, just like BDSP, I'm afraid. Now this is the interesting thing, you guys, and the whole reason of why I wanted to make this video in the first place. Because there are a couple images that I've seen so far that they are most likely talking about. Spoiler warning, of course, before I show them off, if by some chance they are real and you want to skip it, you can jump to this time on screen now. Good? Alright, you've been warned. Now I don't know if there's other pictures out there, but here they are. There are three of them, and they are all very similar to that of the BDSB style. There is Gutsis, the champion Alder, and N. Now, Alder and N is whatever, really. The more unique image, for those of you that are smart enough to remember, this isn't Gutsis' outfit from the original Black and White games. This outfit, the outfit in this leak, is from sequels Black 2, White 2. Now, why exactly would we be seeing this in the games, you might be asking yourselves. Well, dear viewer, they state that the original and the sequels are going to be on the same cartridge or download. That means both games in one, and you're going to be able to choose which one you want to play, with a release date set for November 22nd this year. Now, you guys, before I share my thoughts, go ahead, feel free to share yours down in the comment section below. Because this is honestly what I was referring to when I was saying that you're either going to be laughing your butt off or you're going to be saying this is amazing. It's probably what a lot of fans of Generation 5 dreams to have the ability to play both the game and the sequel. However, before you guys go crazy in the comments, the likelihood of Game Freak ever adding two games in one is more rare than getting yourself a shiny level 100 Magikarp with perfect IVs from the resort area in Pokemon Platinum. That's like one in a couple hundred billion. That is so unlikely. But, I will admit, if by some miracle this is indeed what gets announced, I will probably lose my mind, despite the fact that it is a chibi style once again. Generation 5 is absolutely amazing, and yeah, honestly, I would enjoy playing them again. And having both the original and the sequel title all in one game would be incredible. Not to mention, this would fall in line with how Generation 5 reshaped the cycle that Game Freak was doing with the mainline series prior by breaking that third installment and completely changing everyone's predictions from that point on. Because of course, the next generation that we got was X and Y, and we didn't get anything out of it. No third installment, no sequel, nothing. 
Rip, Pokemon Z. Now that's not the only thing in this video that I want to share with you guys. I want to share with you something else from Twitter. Someone in particular that finds great enjoyment by posting riddles about the leaks. That user, of course, is RiddlerKu. Just a few days ago from the time of this recording on February 20th, they only posted this image. A black background with an 8 with two tiny dots at the top left. They said absolutely nothing about it, and it has left people trying to wrap their brains around it. Now, February 23rd, earlier this morning, they posted this. A white background with an 8, but instead, the middle three points are completely filled in, while the four on the sides are dimmed. We also still have the two tiny dots. This time, however, they commented with this. This developer is still converting, not the final. What does this all mean exactly? Your guess is as good as mine. Please go ahead and share your theories on what all this means. Because there's several people that have shared what they think, and while many of them are very creative in their own theories, I like this one in particular because it is a 2 and a 5 put together, making it so that the middle parts overlap with each other. And quite honestly, it would line up with the other rumors and leaks that I have covered in my previous video. Speaking of which, if you'd like to watch that, go ahead and click the card in the top right corner of the video. However, I do want to take you guys back to Riddler's comment to that post. This developer is still converting, not the final. That simply means that we're going to be getting another image or two. One more image on the 26th, a day just before the presentation airs. And here is my theory on what it might be. The three points in the middle are already set up specifically. The next image that we are most likely going to be getting from them is going to be filling in to show either that of a 2 or a 5. Now, exactly what does that mean? Well, if it's a 2, then of course, I feel that we're going to be getting Let's Go Johto in the form of whatever Pokemon they choose. However, if it's a 5, most likely that is going to be the Generation 5 remakes. But you guys go ahead and let me know what you think. Beyond that, there you have it you guys, that is the leak talking about Generation 5 remakes, but we get two games in one. Which honestly would align with the leaks that we have gotten from Getsus, with his Black 2 and White 2 outfit. As well, the image post from Riddler Koo over on Twitter. Remember you guys, when it comes to these leaks and rumors, take everything you see and hear with a grain of salt. It is all in fun to see them and hear the crazy theories that people come up with. But you guys, you have to wait until things are confirmed, because this video is simply just for fun. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you're new and you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and make sure to click that bell, because I'm going to be streaming the Pokemon presentation for Pokemon Day that Tuesday morning, and by doing so, you are going to get a notification when I go live, and for all future content, whenever I upload. I want to give a big thank you to all my channel members, you guys help support the channel, and I am forever grateful for you. My name is Laylin, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Ugh. That's good. Brrr. <laughs> <laughs>